Continuing with our pursuit of exploring bold BC reds, we're going to talk about different types of oak and their impact on the final product, and how blending up to five different grape varietals can create a wine that's better than the sum of its parts. If you're still wondering why BC wine reaches new heights, welcome to Mission Hill. So John, this is quite an impressive room. How many different types of barrels would you say you have in here? Probably about 10 different types. We use barrels from France and from the United States. So we get different flavor results in the wine, which, which, which gives us uh, increased complexity and more interest in the wine. And uh, it gets quite, uh, actually gets quite complicated when you're starting to do the blends. You're not just dealing with the wine, you're also dealing with the different barrels and the flavour impact they have. So it becomes quite interesting when you're doing the final blends. I understand it is a complicated process, but is there an easy answer to the difference between American and French oak? Yes, there is, is a simple answer. Um, American oak tends to give the wine more of a stronger oak flavour, faster. It, it can be a little bit dominating on occasions. In some wines it's fantastic, um, and we use quite a lot of American oak. In, in other wines, it can be a little bit too dominating in its oak and doesn't give, the, do give uh, finesse and balance to the wine as much as French can. Uh, French takes longer. The wines need to stay in the barrels typically longer. These, the wines that's in these barrels will stay in here for 14 or 15 months. So it takes longer for the wine to mature. But at least in the Okanagan, we, we get a better result overall, particularly with our premium reds. Um, in, the, in the French barrel. And this is a French barrel right here? Yeah, this is a French barrel, yeah. Can we try what's we, in there? We can certainly do that. What have we got in here? Uh, this is 2008 Harvest uh, Merlot. It's uh, from uh, one of our premium Merlot Vineyards down in Masoyas, right, that's right, the vineyard is actually right down on the border of the United States, so it's as far south as we can get here in uh, BC. And I know you make a, a, a premium blend known as the Oculus. How much of this Merlot do you think would end up in the final percentage? Probably Merlot is typically somewhere between about 50 and 55 percent of Oculus in the last uh, last couple of years it's been around that. So it's been the major variety of Oculus has been the Merlot. Uh, As a winemaker, would you say that blended wines will produce a better product than a single varietal? Typically with a red wine, blends are better. Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, they have different characteristics, different, slightly different flavour, um, different tannin structure. You put them together and the sum of the parts is, more, is almost always more interesting, a, a better balanced wine with more nuances and complexity and uh, yeah, I mean blends, blends to me are almost always better than a single varietal. Well that's a great answer. Let me see what this tastes like. As a single varietal. <laughs> I don't know, John, I think you've done a pretty good job on this one alone. It's not too bad, is it? I bet I could drink this as it is, but I truly look forward to seeing when it's all put together. Good luck with the harvest, and uh, give me a call when that wine is okay. blended. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>